And yet, President Obama said again today that he wants to resettle tens of thousands of refugees in the U.S. But after Paris, his plan has hit a roadblock. And here's Nancy Cordes. The terror attacks in France became a partisan issue in this country today, with at least 15 governors, all Republicans, announcing they will try to block Syrian refugees from resettling in their states. Michigan Governor the Rick Snyder. Saying we were going to suspend things until we had a chance to talk to the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. He and the others say they'll direct state agencies not to provide Syrians the types of relocation services normally supplied to refugees. Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker. The safety and security of the people of the Commonwealth of Mass is my highest priority. That sentiment was shared by more than half the GOP presidential field, who said the U.S. should halt plans to welcome 10,000 Syrian refugees over the next year. There are genuine refugees that need to be cared for, but they should be resettled in the Middle East in majority Muslim countries. <laughs> Frontrunner Donald Trump said he might also close some mosques if he becomes president. It's something that you're going to have to strongly consider because some of the ideas and, and some of the hatred, the absolute hatred, is coming from these areas. Roughly four million Syrians have been displaced by the fighting. Applicants for resettlement here are screened by the departments of state and homeland security. Former Florida Governor Jeb Bush argued the U.S. should focus on accepting Syrian Christians, not Muslims. Because they're being slaughtered in the country, and but for us, who? The president sharply rejected that suggestion at the G20 summit in Turkey. That's shameful. That's not American. It's not who we are. We don't have religious tests to our compassion. The new House Speaker Paul Ryan says he's considering legislation that would beef up screening for refugees. The reality is, Scott, there's very little a governor can do to keep someone from living in their state once they've been allowed into the country. Nancy Cordes at the Capitol. Nancy, thank you.